Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com. Stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, and I'm here today with Frank Mendoza, President of Western United Dairymen, on one of his dairies in Tulare County. And like any other dairyman, he's grateful for the abundance of rainfall we've been receiving from El Nino, replenishing our groundwater storage. However, he's concerned as to whether this water will last through to continue to irrigate his feed crops for his dairies. As you can see, we're spraying herbicide on this triticale field. Uh, and in hopes that we're going to have enough water uh, in the next couple of months and snow up in the mountains to be able to irrigate it. Otherwise, we're going to have to cut it off early to, to plant some kind of summer crop. That's what we had to do last year. And uh, we're going to just get a lot less forage to feed our cows. Uh, so we only can hope and pray that we get a lot more rain and, and snow up in the mountains. Last year, uh, I ended up with a couple of colonies of tricolored blackbirds in my triticale field, and um, and it was interesting to learn all about the tricolored. But through through that process, we were able to uh, come up with some numbers that showed how much uh, the dairyman or farmer that ends up having tricolored in their field, what kind of loss they have to take. And, uh, and I was able to share that with the NRCS and the Autobahn Society and, and hopefully through that process we're, we're going to modify the program to, to reflect the true costs to the dairymen farmers. Learn more about dairymen like Frank Mendoza by reading California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.